Let's get back to Trevor with his hypothesis. He had two hypotheses, and let's start with the first one, which is testing the mean income. We have previously determined the H null and H1, which is H null is mu greater than or equal to 49,000, and the H1 is mu smaller than 49,000. The second step is to choose the test statistic. Since the population standard deviation is unknown, we didn't get any information from the case. We only have the sample standard deviation, which is obtained from which we can obtain from this table. From the sample data, we have calculated that the sample mean. So from this uh, table, we get the sample mean is equal to $46,278, and the sample standard deviation is $19,524. With this information, uh, we will use t-statistic and calculate it using this formula. So the T statistic will be 46278 minus 49,000 divided by 19524 divided by N, the number of sample, your observation sample is 36. Using your calculator, you will get the result minus 0.836. This result uh, tells us that it, 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 get, it goes in line with um, our hypothesis testing, which is a one tail test and a left tail because it's negative. So it uh, assures us that we are doing a left tail test. And based on this uh, H alternative, we know that uh, to specify the rejection rule, we have a left tail test. And this is the rejection rule. To get the, to specify the critical value, we will use the T table. And the information we, we need is the alpha and the degree of freedom. Because the alpha is not uh, mentioned in the case, let's just make our own assumption. I will take the alpha to be 5% and the degree of freedom, the formula is n minus 1, where n is the number of observation of your sample, which was 36, so this is 35. With this information, let's determine, let's find out the t value for the critical value. So we have this t table. We are doing a one tail and we have our alpha is 5% and the degree of freedom is 35. So we find the degree of freedom 35 because we only have 30 and 40. We take uh, the, the both value. So this is the column, uh, this one, between 1697 and 1684. 35 falls between this value. So what we do is we sum this two number and then divide by two. Take the average of this two number. We get, uh, using your calculator, you will get 1.6905. So our T critical is 1.6905. And since, since it's a left tail, so this is negative. Um, the rejection rule would be reject H null if T negative T statistic is smaller than negative T critical, which is minus 1.6905. Since we have calculated that T statistic is minus 0 0.836, 0 0.836 is larger than the T critical. So it, fall, it falls in this area. This is the T statistic. 
um, it is greater than the negative t critical. So our conclusion is we do not reject h null. So h null is true while before our statement was in h1. So if h null is true, h1 is not true, then this statement is false. We can say that it is not true that the mean income of Latino household has fall, fallen below $49,000.